Family Travel Talk. Give us a couple of minutes and we'll give you family travel tips, traps to avoid, advice, and timely family travel information. I'm Khalil Sakakini, and today, very happy to introduce Kyle McCarthy, the go-to person for premier family travel advice, CEO of Family Travel Forum. Welcome, Kyle. Hi, Khalil. It's a pleasure uh, to be here. You know... I always thought that when families traveled, they stayed with their friends and relatives. So why the emphasis on family-sensitive accommodations? A recent study done by TripAdvisor found that 79% of all travelers actually preferred to stay in hotels. Okay, but... Do hotels get this? Hotels are smart, and it doesn't cost them more to have four people sleep in a room than two. So it's really in their interest to encourage families to come to hotels. Family suite. I think it started in Orlando. It spread from there. It was a double room, a standard double room that might have two double beds in it. We see family suites that now sleep 14 people with a combination of separate rooms, two bathrooms, or a double sink outside. A separate room with a toilet and shower are really great because that enables several people to get ready uh, at once for an event. Okay, but Kyle, what really makes a good family accommodation? What's the bottom line here? No one wants to feel unwelcome. We get a lot of complaints from readers who go to high-end hotels and feel like their children are treated as a nuisance. Other guests are complaining about the noise, the pitter-patter of little feet in the lobby. Certainly everyone wants to be welcome. That's good stuff. Let's do it again. Let's have you back on Family Travel Talk. Take care. Khalil, always a pleasure. This Family Travel Talk was made possible thanks to Universal Orlando theme parks, providing family welcoming programs for ages infant to grandparent. For the latest on their family specials, visit UniversalOrlando.com. Family Travel Talk.